Hi there, and welcome back to yet another great episode of Mind Power. My name is Bryce L. Tomlinson from NewDepthMedia.com, and mode in Google Chrome on the Mac. So, uh, what incognito mode does is basically it bypasses any kind of um, logging software, accountability software, and it basically keeps uh, anything from uh, having a history. It doesn't show up in your history. So basically, it's a way for people to do sneaky and diabolical things in the web browser, and no one can check up on them. So um, what I'm going to show you today is a way to help you to be more accountable, help uh, people to not uh, uh, be able to surf without having some sort of tracks left behind. Um, it doesn't mean that you can't clear your web history or anything like that, but the but disabled in the incognito mode does a lot to help uh, accountability software, especially do a better job. So let's get on with it. So um, when we first look at uh, Google Chrome, we can see that we can launch a new incognito window, which basically is going to be immune to any kind of history or anything like that. It says, uh, doesn't affect the behavior of other people, servers, or software. It says, pages you view won't appear in your browser history or search history, and they won't leave other traces like cookies, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we just want to get rid of that altogether. In order to do that, uh, we need to uh, go into the preferences for Google Chrome. And the way that we do that is we would open up a Finder window. We hit Go, Go to Finder, or Go to Folder, and you type this in. It would be the tilde key, which is at the top left corner of your uh, keyboard underneath the escape key. So it's a shift reverse apostrophe, basically. Tilde forward slash library forward slash preferences. Click OK. And now you're in the folder where all of your stuff is. So I'm going to show you how this doesn't work, and then I'll show you how it does work. So you scroll down and you'll find the uh, the file in here called com.google.chrome.plist here, right? And if you look at it in the pane mode, you'll you'll be able to see what's actually in there. But if you try to edit it with a text editor like text edit, you get this, which is sort of a garbled mess. And um, not sure why that happens. It seems to be, uh, I know people will like blast me for saying this, but it seems to be sort of in an XML format. So you should be able to edit it straight up. But uh, for some reason, the Mac sort of protects it. And uh, so let's exit out of that. And I want to show you something completely different, a different way of getting into it. And this will work with any kind of preferences that you need to adjust for any program. Mind you, you can screw them up, so don't, don't screw them up. So let's just exit out of that. And I'm going to show you this, uh, this program by Knight Productions called Pref Setter. And it's a free program, and you can just download it right here. The link will be in the description, so you can get Pref Setter right there. And... Uh, once you get Pref Setter installed on your Mac, uh, it it will uh, ask if you want if you want run it. It'll be a zip file. When you run it, it will ask you if you want to install it into your applications and relaunch it. So for now, we need to exit Chrome before we make any adjustments. So we have to totally quit Chrome so that it's not running at the same time. And now that I've installed Pref Setter, let me go in here and run the pref setter from my launch pad. So once pref setter is up and running, which it takes a second to run, here it is. Now all those user preferences things will show up in here. You don't have to go to the folder anymore. 
and there's other preferences too that you can uh, that you can adjust but I'm just gonna scroll down here and right there is the Google Chrome uh, preferences and I'm gonna go ahead and double click on that and it comes up with the com.google.chrome.plist file and this is basically the, the the long and short of what's in that XML file is now being displayed on your screen so what you need to do is go down to the bottom and then go up to actions add new key so this new key is going to be called incognito mode availability and then over here where it says string we're going to change that to integer and then over here where there's that zero we're going to change that to a one the incognito mode availability variable basically has three modes. Zero is enabled so that um, you have it available to you. One is unavailable and two is forced. So everything is incognito mode when you're using the two mode. We're going to disable it here and uh, vice versa, if you want to re-enable it, you can also delete this or set it to zero or do it forced or whatever. But uh, this way, you can definitely adjust that. Now, what you want to do before you can make this actually work, you have to go up to File and click Save. Then you can launch Google Chrome. And when you launch Google Chrome the next time, you will notice that under the File menu, you no longer have new incognito window, just not available to you at all. All right, so that is how to adjust the incognito mode availability on the Mac. Thanks for watching. I hope that you'll subscribe. Make sure you check out the uh, previous or the next video uh, on the top left and right corners of your screen. And I hope to see you next time right here on MindPower. Have a great day.